H10. I'm rolling with the uh, Stratus. And we're just uh, doing a quick leak check on all the uh, Rack A stuff, which is all frozen. So that's cloud hunting. We've got this guy, super sensitive. Nothing. This is also frozen on this side. Know how I know it's frozen because it's frozen <laughs> so we're just doing a leak check on rack a because somebody had to add refrigerant not too long ago we're doing the cases right now and then we'll go up to the uh, rack itself just kind of uh, kind of sort of checking where all the airflow is just check down here and then we'll check up here under honeycomb every other door it doesn't matter as long as you get a couple of cases Nothing there. H10 and for some reason I always get a hit on beer so the Stratus, hold on, let me get this one first. So the Stratus doesn't show anything at all. And then look at the H10. You want to stick it in there? Beer cases always hit. I don't know why. See, Stratus again. See that H10 is already picking it up. Put it in here again. There you go. So this is another case. So I don't know if that's a fluke with the H10 or if we actually have a leak. Stick it in there. Rack house, rack room. I noticed a little bit of oil right there. So let's go ahead and uh, check it with our leak detectors here. See if the H10 or the uh, or the Stratus will pick it up. Nothing. So the reason we're doing a leak search is because this rack was uh, low on refrigerant, and um, somebody came out here and found uh, one of these um, roto locks. One of those rotor lock fittings had come loose. So they had to add some refrigerant to the rack. Now we have to do a mandatory, uh, a mandatory leak search. Is the cap on? H10 found something right here. Let's go ahead and check. This cap's leaking a bit. Let me see, go right here where, where where this threads into the to the cap. Go closer right there. Yeah, right there. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. There we go. So that's on the cap. This um, right there. 
just go right on the threads. Yeah, I think the threads is a problem. Yep, I go ahead and try it again with the H10. Right on the threads. H10 takes a little bit longer to get it in through the system. There it is. Uh, we got a low battery indicator on this one right now. Right so. again. So put it right on the threads. There we go. Pull it back. Let's see, so right on the threads. And there it goes. There it goes on this side of the threads. Yeah, that one just died. Yeah. This is the other rack. This is rack A. The one where I did those dryers that I had such a huge drop across it. Cloud hunting mode. See what we pick up here for PPMs. Not a whole lot. All right, let's go back to that uh, sensitivity mode right here. Super sensitive. Picking it up. So right, right on that thread as well. The other one's on that rack. This is a different Checking one. some random spot, guys. I don't really need to check this rack. Oh, there we go. That one's looks like it's leaking a bit. Possibly. Go a little bit further see if we got anything back here. No. There we go. So it's, a, it's pretty good to pinpoint if it's up here or an inch away down here. Pretty accurate. Really like this leak detector. Hi right, guys. So the bubbles that the, uh, that's the leak that the Stratus was picking up right there. That the DTEC Stratus was picking up, look at that. There it is. Leak spot that the Stratus was picking up. All right there, got some bubbles forming. Another leak right here. There's something going on there. Now that we're gonna have to open up this uh, shell, fix that leak right here. We're gonna go ahead and change these axle dryers that uh, I put in about two weeks ago. Um, whenever I change these out, so we're gonna go ahead and change these out and then uh, seal that leak. I already got it pumped down right there. Got the rack off. Nice and quiet. Here they are. 
They don't look bad, not like the ones that we originally took off. But we're still gonna change them out, so I'm gonna start taking them out. Screen looks clean. Blue Monster Teflon tape on it. And she won't leak anymore. About finished up. Hi right, guys, we already pulled the vacuum. Quick vacuum. No straighter cores, no nothing. And we've got pressure in it. Got no leaks. Put some right here. Just to make sure we don't have any leaks around here. And we'll call it good. And we gotta go uh, replace, I'm sorry, fix this, the leak on that rack. That's what we get for being nosy. I'm not even supposed to be touching that rack. Good, no bubbles. All right, man, let's go. Let's release the Kraken. All right, so that that leak is good. Uh, that other one right there, we uh, tightened it up, stopped leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and move on over to rack B and fix that leak. Also wanna date your dryers. We're good to go. Right, this is rack B. Already fixed that leak. Got a vacuum going. It's gonna be a quick vacuum. We're not even putting a micron gauge on it. Just vacuuming from here to that ball valve so we'll give it about five minutes and then we'll let it go Everybody, uh, staging the compressors back on remember we uh we transfer the liquid from here into the suction but just make sure that the compressors are running you don't want to slug this uh suction header with liquid and then uh pull the vacuum and then we uh, reintroduce refrigerant so we ain't got no leaks it's not pretty, but it, we don't have any leaks, so we're good to go. We dated the dryers. I, <laughs> I'll admit something, guys. I changed the dryers on rack B by mistake. I should have gone and changed them on rack A, and I was training the new guy, come out here, change these dryers, go through the process and everything, and then I figured out that we changed the wrong ones. So now rack B and rack A both have brand new dryers. It happens, I guess. So, uh, yep, no more leaks. Gonna clean up and get out of here.